command options for connecting to the server. This section describes options supported by most MySQL client programs that control how client program establish connections to the server, whether connections are encrypted, and whether connections are compressed. These options can be given on the command line or in an option file. And we have the command options for the connection establishment. We have command options for encrypted connections and command options for connection compression. We're gonna see the command options for connection establishment. The section describes options that control how client programs establish connections to the server. For additional information and examples showing how to use them, we can check out this link, the connecting to the MySQL server using command options. So here we have this table, the table 4.3, connection establishment option summary. So in this column, we have the, in the first column, we have the option name, in the second column, the description, and then introduce. So we have the double hyphen default auth. Well, I mean, double hyphen default hyphen auth, and we can click it and you can check more information about it if you want. But the description authentication plugin to use we have the double hyphen host host on which mysql server is located we have the double hyphen password password to use when connecting to the server we have the double hyphen password one first multi-factor authentication password to use when connecting to the server we have the double hyphen password two second multi-factor authentication password to use when connecting to the server we have the double dash or double hyphen password three. Third, multi-factor authentication password to use when connecting to the server. We have the double hyphen pipe. Connect to the server using name pipe, Windows only. We have the double hyphen plugin hyphen directory. Directory where pl plugins are installed. We have the double hyphen port. TCP slash IP, IP port number for connection. We have the double hyphen protocol transport protocol to use we have the double hyphen share hyphen memory hyphen base hyphen name share memory name for share hyphen memory connections windows only and finally we have the double hyphen socket in the double hyphen user so this one unix socket file or windows name pipe to use in the double hyphen user mysql username to use when connecting to the server and here we have the double hyphen default hyphen auth equal sign plugin. A hint about which client hyphen site authentication plugin to, to use. You can check out this link if you want a pluggable authentication. We have the double hyphen host equal sign host unders, underscore name. Uh, separated by a comma, we, we would use the hyphen H and then a space host underscore name on host on which the MySQL server is running. The value can be a host name, IPv4 address or IPv6 address. The default value is local host. And here we have the definition for the IP, IP4, IPv4. So this is the IP version 4. Ad addresses are 32 bit integers that can be expressed in hexadecimal notation. Also for the, for the IPv6 internet protocol version is the most recent version of the internet protocol. The communication protocol provides an, an identification and location system for computers and networks and routes traffic across the internet. So we have that. We have the double hyphen password open brackets equal sign pass underscore value separated by a comma. We can use this hyphen P. Inside of the brackets, we have the pass underscore value, the password of the MySQL account used for connecting to the server. The password value is optional. If not given, the client program prompts for one. If given, there must be no space between double hyphen password equal sign or hyphen P and the password following it. If no password option is specified, the default is to send no password. Specifying a password on the command line should be considered insecure. To avoid giving the password on the command line, use an option file. So we have the end user guidelines for the password security. To explicitly specify that there is no password and that the client program should not prompt for one, use the double hyphen skip hyphen password option. So, and we have the link for this. 
So we have the double hyphen password one, open brackets equal sign, pass underscore value, the password for multi-factor authentication factor one of the MySQL account used for connecting to the server. The password value is optional if not given the client program prints for one if given there must be no space between so we have the double hyphen password one equal and the password following it if no password option is specified the default is to send no password specifying a password on the command line should be considered insecure to avoid giving the password on the command line use an option file so we have the end user guidelines for password security to explicitly specify that there is no password and that the client program should not be prompt for one use the double hyphen skip hyphen password one option the double hyphen password one and the double hyphen password are synonymous as are the double hyphen skip is hyphen password one and the double hyphen skip hyphen password and the double hyphen password two open brackets equal pass underscore value the password for multi-factor authentication factor two of the mysql account used for connecting to the server the semantics of this option are similar to the semantics for the hyphen i mean double hyphen password one we can move here and double hyphen pipe so a comma and then hyphen uppercase letter w on windows connect to the server using a name pipe this option applies only if the server was started with a name pipe system variable enabled to support name pipe connections. In addition, the user making the connection must be a member of the Windows group specified by the name pipe full access group system variable. We have the double hyphen plugin hyphen directory equal directory underscore name, the directory in which to look for pl plugins. Specify this option if the double hyphen default hyphen auth option is used to specify an authentication plugin but the client program does not find it. So we have the plug the plugable authentication link if you want to check it out. Now we have the double hyphen port equal sign port underscore num and and the way that we would write it it would be like hyphen I mean hyphen uppercase letter P. If you go into if you try to log in you type in your MySQL and for example it will be hyphen root like this and then your hyphen P that would be for the password but in this case when it says hyphen uppercase letter P there that would be for the port uh, as you can see here for TCP slash IP connections the port number to use the default port number is uh, 3306 double hyphen protocol and equal sign inside of the curly braces we have the TCP uh, the OR operator socket OR operator pipe which has the vertical sign memory this option explicitly specifies which transport protocol to use for connecting to the server it is useful when other connection parameters normally results in use of a protocol other than the one you want for example connections on unix to local hosts are made using a unix socket file by default and this is the mysql space double hyphen host equal sign and then the local host to force tcp slash ip transport to be used instead specify a double hyphen protocol option so we have the mysql space double hyphen host equal sign local host space double hyphen protocol space i mean equal sign tcp and then we have the following table shows the permissible double hyphen protocol option values and indicate applicable platforms for each value this these values are not case sensitive so we have the double hyphen protocol here value transport protocol use applicable platforms we have the tcp tcp slash ip transport to local or remote server all we have here in this column socket unix socket file transport to local server unix and unix live system so we have pipe name pipe transport to local server windows and then we have the memory share memory transport to local server windows so you can check out this link connection transport protocols we have the double hyphen share hyphen memory hyphen base hyphen name equal sign name on windows the share memory name to use for connections main using shared memory to a local server the default value is mysql the shared memory name is case sensitive this option applies 
only if the service was was started with the shared memory system variable enabled to support shared memory connections now we can see the double hyphen socket equal sign path and we represent it with the hyphen and then the uppercase letter s path on unix the name of the unix socket file to use for connections made using a name pipe to a local server the default unix socket file name is slash dmp slash mysql that suck on windows the name of the name pipe to use for connection to a local server the default windows pipe name is mysql the pipe name is not case sensitive on windows the exception applies only if the server was started with the name pipe system variable enabled to support name pipe connections in addition the user making the connection must be a member of the windows group specified by the name underscore pipe underscore full underscore access underscore group system variable and finally we're going to see the double hyphen user equals sign user underscore name and we represent it by the hyphen lowercase letter u as we have been doing it and this is just the username so the username of the mysql account to use for connecting to the server the default username is odbc on windows and eh, or your unix login name on your unix so and again if we go here and just try to okay so mysql hyphen root and then it's gonna prompt me for my password like this so let's let's log in and as you can see okay so i just after my sql i just type in space and then hyphen lowercase letter u and then the username and my username is root okay so command options for encrypted connections the section describes options for client programs that specify whether to use encrypted connections to the server the names of the certified of the certificate and the key files of and other parameters related to encrypted connection support for examples i've suggested using how to check whether a connection is encrypted so you can check out configuration mysql to use encrypted connections these options have an, an effect only for connections that use a transport protocol subject to encryption that is the dcp slash uh, ip and unix socket file connections so we can check out that and here we have the table 4.4 connection encryption option summary so we, in these columns we have the option name the description introduced and deprecated so we have the double hyphen get hyphen server hyphen public hyphen key requested rsa public key from server we have the double hyphen server hyphen public hyphen key hyphen path path name to file containing rsa public key we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen ca file that contains list of trusts ssl certificate authorities we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen uh, ka path directory that contains trusted ssl certificate authority certificate files we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen cert file that contains x dot file 9 certificate we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen cipher permissible ciphers for connection encryption we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen crl file that contains certificate re revocation list we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen crl path directory that contains certificate revocation list files we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen FIPS hyphen mode whether to enable FIPS mode on client side double hyphen SSL hyphen key file that contains the uppercase letter X dot 509 key double hyphen SSL hyphen mode desired security state of connection to server we also have the double hyphen SSL hyphen session hyphen data file that contains SSL session data double hyphen SSL hyphen session hyphen data hyphen continue hyphen on hyphen fail hyphen reuse whether to establish connections if sessions reuse fails and here we have the double hyphen TLS hyphen cipher suits permissible TLS v1.3 cipher suits for encrypted connections and finally the double hyphen tls hyphen version permissible tls protocols for encrypted connections and as you can see in these two columns we have the introduced and deprecated and the only one that has been deprecated has been the the double hyphen ssl hyphen fips hyphen mode and the the deprecation was for the 
8.0.34 version so we have the double hyphen get hyphen server hyphen public key request from the server the key the public key required for the rsa key pair base password exchange this option applies to clients that authenticate with the caching underscore sha to underscore password authentication plugin for that plugin the server does not send the public key unless requested this option is ignored for accounts that do not authenticate with that plugin it is also ignored if rsa based password exchange is not used as is the case when the client connects to the server using a secure connection if the double hyphen server hyphen public hyphen key hyphen path equals sign file underscore name is given and it specifies a valid public key file it takes precedence over the double hyphen get hyphen server hyphen public hyphen key for more information you can check out the caching sha hyphen do plugin authentication so this is the link and then we have the double hyphen server hyphen public hyphen key hyphen path we have the double hyphen server hyphen public hyphen key hyphen path we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen ca equal to equal sign file underscore name we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen uh, cap path equal sign directory underscore name we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen cert certificate equal sign file underscore name the double hyphen ssl hyphen cipher equal sign cipher underscore list and we can change we can continue to read double hyphen ssl hyphen crl equal sign file underscore name we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen crl path equal sign directory underscore name we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen fibs hyphen mode equal sign inside of the curly braces we have the off on strict so these are the three options and yeah we also have the double hyphen ssl hyphen key equal to the file underscore name the double hyphen ssl hyphen mode equal to mode what else we have here okay so we will have the the double hyphen ssl hyphen mode options that interact with the ca certificate options as follows so you have the double hyphen or double dash ssl uh, hyphen mode we will have the what else what else we have the double hyphen ssl hyphen sessions hi, uh, hyphen data equal to the file underscore name ssl hyphen session hyphen data hyphen continue hyphen on hyphen fail hyphen reuse what else do we have here we have the double hyphen tls hyphen and uh, cypher suits equal sign cypher suit underscore list and here we have mysql space double hyphen tls hyphen cypher suits equal sign inside of the double quotes we have the suit one colon suit two colon suit three so we have all that and finally we're going to see the command options for connection compression this section describes options that enable client programs to control use of compression for connections to the server for additional information and exchanges showing how to use you can check out this link on connection compression control in, in this table we have the option name the description introduced and deprecated so double hyphen compress compresses all information sent between client and server double hyphen compression hyphen algorithms permit compression algorithms for connections to the server double hyphen zstd hyphen compression hyphen level compression level for connections to server that use zstd compression so we have the double hyphen compress and this is the upper hyphen uppercase letter c we have the double hyphen compression hyphen algorithms equal sign value and finally we have the double hyphen z std hyphen compression hyphen label equal sign label the compression label to use for con for connections to the server that use the z std compression algorithm the permitted levels are from 1 to 22 with larger values indicated increasing levels of compressions the default c std compression level is 3 the compression level setting has no effect on connections that use that do not use the z std compression this option was added to the mysql 8.0.18